I'm in love. So this bike has exactly 13 miles on it. It had 10 miles on it, which KTM did for like a little PDI check. I've got to finish running it in now. So I've got to do 600 running miles on this bike. So how did this come about? Chops, you are so jammy. How do you manage to swing these things? <laughs> well, I started talking to KTM middle of last year about perhaps getting on a long-term SMCR for this season. I mean, that is the singular most reason that I sold my little 500 EXC Supermoto because I realised I really wanted a more road-focused Supermoto like the 690 because the maintenance intervals on the 500 were just getting too much. It was taking some of the enjoyment away. The converted Enduros are fantastic, but the maintenance is quite extreme on them. I mean, oil changes every 15 hours, valve checks every 30 hours. I was getting fed up with that. I wanted something more road focused. And this is where the 690 comes in. I'm incredibly lucky. I, 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 I realise how lucky I am to have this. I mean, I've got this until November. As I said, it's now the beginning of February. I actually wasn't expecting this to be coming in until March. Don't do it, please, Mr. Tractor. So when they called me last week and said, your bike's here, I was like, oh, what, what, when, what? <laughs> I didn't even have room in the garage for it. I had that many loan bikes in. So I went up and collected it immediately, sorted out all the insurance, because with a long-termer like this, you have to sort out your own insurance. If you're borrowing a bike for a couple of weeks, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a fresh long-termer for two weeks, you're covered on the, say, KTM's own insurance. But if you're going to have this long-term, you have to sort out your own insurance. And to insure a bike which isn't in your name is actually quite tricky. And thankfully, my friends at BE Moto sorted this out for me as a special favour, really, because I think you'll find if you ring up most insurance companies and say you want to insure a bike, but you're not the registered owner, you're going to run into difficulties. Big up the BE Moto. I was lucky enough to go to the launch of this bike in Portugal last year, and I absolutely loved it. And that's what sort of sealed the deal for me, really. That sealed the fate of the 500 EXE Supermoto project, because I realized just how damn good <laughs> these bikes are. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at these roads. These roads were made for Supermoto. Slipper clutch. Very, very nice. Oh, lovely front brake. Just pulling hard on the front there. Knowing you've got that ABS there to, to help you if necessary. Getting away, My plans are to do a tour on this to prove that you can do a bit of long distance work on a supermoto. I'm going to do a, at least one track day on it, something like Brands Hatch, I think it will be perfect on. I'm going to bring you everything, everything you need to know about owning a 690 SMCR. The full overview, any issues I have with the bike. I'll bring you that as well. This isn't just going to be the sugar-coated version. This is going to be the full ownership experience. I used to own, of course, the 701, the original 701, the 2016 bike, before they used this new Duke balance-free motor in it, which is far superior, by the way. I used to love my old 701. I did a lot of mods to it, you know, and I sold it, well, I swapped it to get the Super Duke, and I've always sort of regretted that decision. And that's why I built up my 500 EXC as a Supermoto, because I was really missing that Supermoto fun. Because Supermotos are all about fun. And for me, riding is all about fun. So the two go together like chalk and cheese. Lamb and mint sauce. So there she is, the new bike. What a lucky get. The fuel goes in the back on these. This is the fuel cap into the back of the bike. So all the weight is over the back. Which is, uh, which is great for the wheelies. Full stainless steel exhaust, the Apex WP suspension, single Brembo caliper. The stopping power is amazing on these. They're so light, you don't need masses of brakes. Look at that standard exhaust though. It is horrible. And like I say, they weigh about five kilos those. So you can knock five kilos off the bike straight away by fitting a decent aftermarket or power parts. 
piece, should I say. Dashboard, very basic. You know, you just got speed, hours, time, <laughs> indicators, you know, very, very basic stuff. The whole switch gear is very basic, you know, high, low beam. The traction control is the only, I guess, is the most complicated thing about it with the traction off. And then you've got two maps, map position one, map position two, uh, for throttle responses, and then the TC button to turn the TC on and off. Rebound and compression adjusters in the fork leg. This is the rebound side. And you've got compression adjustment on the left-hand fork leg. Brembo rear brakes as well. Bridgestone S21 rubber. It's all there. It's all there for some serious fun. -hoo -hoo. Just need to get it running. So a little bit of info about the 690 if it's not a bike which you're familiar with. The old 690 SMCR, I think it came out in about 2008, something like that, and it's been updated a few times. I think 2012 it got quite a big update. And then around 2015-ish, they dropped it. They stopped making it, they stopped selling it. So all of the used prices for these bikes are very, very strong. And then in 2018, 19, 2019, last year, I still can't get over it being 2020, but last year they reintroduced this new, new feet, new electronics, a new look, you know, a, a whole new motorcycle. It's got the Duke 690 motor. So the road going Duke 690 motor is what is in this. And that is the new one with the balance shaft. So it's got a balance shaft in the, in the rocker, opposite to the camshaft. And it's also got a balance shaft on the bottom, on the crank of the engine as well. So for a big, nearly 700cc single, it is incredibly smooth, incredibly smooth. It's at least 30% smoother than my original 701, my 2016 701 without the balancer shaft. A good 30% smoother than that bike. And it revs another 1000 RPM at the top, so it's got more top end power as well. 22 miles. We've doubled the mileage. So from a mods perspective, I have to stay within the power parts catalog to a degree. Um, I've got to discuss this with them yet. <laughs> what I'm allowed to change. Obviously there'll be no changes to the engine, that'll have to remain standard. I'm hoping I can do some bolt-on mods, anything which is just a bolt-on I can perhaps play around with. Exhaust is obviously the first thing, these things are so quiet standard and that exhaust is about five kilos, that steel exhaust, so I really want to get rid of that as soon as possible. I don't really want to put on the big power parts Acra can either because that's road legal uh, so i'd like to go aftermarket on the exhaust can if possible you know I'm, I'm looking at arrow remus perhaps a couple of different options or maybe the good old favorites at wings but i need to discuss that with ktm so <laughs> so if you're watching ktm we need to talk about exhausts when i've had a long termer before the gsxr was a long termer when i used to write an article for performance bikes magazine but that was never mine, that that was a hand-me-down when they got a new long-termer. So that was like going begging, if you like. So it's a case of chops, we've got the GSXR, do you want it? And I was like, of course. You know, well, I didn't get that long-term on my own merit, if you see what I mean. With KTM, this is on my own merit via the channel, via the work I've done on the channel over the last six years. You know, without you guys watching, I you know I wouldn't I wouldn't have this now to to experience this bike so it's really really appreciated and, and you know it isn't lost on me that these opportunities I'm getting is all because of you guys watching my content and that's a massive thumbs up to you guys I'm so appreciative of that thank you this is power level one which is full power <laughs> 